Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants. And today we're here in Tustin, California, which is in Orange County, located between Los Angeles to the north, San Diego to the south. We're here in Southern California, and we're at Dave's property. And he's going to share with us a, an issue, if you want to explain to us um, what we're going to um, see here behind us. All right, this is a Washington navel tree. There's this big section that has grown out. I was going to take it off a couple different times, but it has 200 oranges on it typically and it's so big that I didn't cut it off but then it split the branch up inside the tree split from all the weight wasn't sure what to do so I waited till all the fruit came off and by the time I got to it it's already refruited and flowers and so uh, I'm just seeing what the best thing to do with this is yeah I can see actually of the entire tree there's more fruit on this damaged limb which I'm going to share with you in just a second than pretty much anywhere else but there is scattered flowers and, and small fruit Throughout the entire, again, this is a navel orange tree, correct? Yeah, yeah. Right. So let's um, specifically a Washington navel orange, as there's a variety of different navel oranges as well. Um, and let's take a look at the damage that's within the tree, and then just decide, hopefully together, what's the best way to take care of this tree. And again, the timing of it, we should take in, take note of. So we're here now, the first week of July. The daytime temperatures today are about um, 90, 95 degrees. Yeah. Tomorrow is expected to be a hundred and seven degrees followed by 100 degrees and then some more 90 degree days. And again, I just wanna make sure this is the first week of July and we gotta take into consideration the warmer temps in determining how we're gonna deal with this particular damaged branch within this Washington Naval citrus tree and Dave's fruit orchard. So let's um, check out what's going on within the tree. So here we go, we're going within the tree. I'm going to see the damage that's going on here. If you take a look at the damaged branch, last year, I think Dave, you shared with me that it supported about 200 fruit on this particular branch, yep. right? Yes. So you can see that the branch pretty much comes down from here. It connects to the trunk that's to our left and the branch split exactly in half. The branch I've noticed since the fruit was harvested just six months ago, um, you know, at its peak, which is the winter months, it has now begun to callus over. This is the underlying um, bark cambium tissues that's creating this callus tissue, which will, which will eventually thicken over and possibly heal this. What I'm gonna be looking for is to find a strap to hopefully hold this wound in place as it potentially heals over. We could consider pruning it, but I'm gonna share with you why we're gonna opt out of pruning it. Um, the first one is this branch is thick enough and it also accounts for such a significant percent of the tree area. So that damaged wounded branch that's within the tree right in this particular zone over here is responsible, responsible for about five to 10%, less than 10, but more than 5% of this entire tree's overall um, foliage which is offering an umbrella shade protection to the underlying tree trunk and underlying branches this tree is naturally growing in an excellent shape to guard and protect what i call the heart of the tree the heart being the underlying tree trunk the underlying lowest branches so that if those are protected they can always recreate more branches and more structure but if that gets injured and harmed then it can compromise the health and the overall life of the tree if we prune it now and i told you we're going to take temperature into consideration being that it's June, if we remove this structure out of the plant, and again, this is on the south hottest side of the plant, if we open this area out now, being summer, and even if we did it in early spring, it may be too soon to create that opening within the plant that'll lead to potential sunburn to the underlying structure and underlying, again, like I call it, the heart of the plant, being the underlying lower branches and tree trunk. And let's check out this citrus tree, another orange tree that I visited in North Hollywood not too long ago where they pruned the branch in spring and by summer, check out what this happened. And right here was the branch that was pruned and you can see how large it was. It was at least 20, possibly 30 years old um, right here and this went up and out in the direction of the swimming pool and that was probably the reason it was pruned. And then take a look at what happened underneath. Look at the bark, how it's peeling. All of this is dead, dead skin. If this was your body, this would be your skin coming off. And it goes all the way down, all the way down. All of that damage. Take a look at those cracks. 
These are third degree burns on a plant. And I don't know if anyone has ever described this as third degree burns, but this is a third degree plant burn. The epidermis, the dermis, and it's damaged all the way to where the wood is. So this is now a perfect entryway for termites and wood boring beetles to get into the tree and start hollowing out the center of the plant. The other thing I wanna point out here is the sun, and it'll be out here in about the next hour, is shining on this side of the plant. If you were to go around back, I don't know if you can work your way around with the camera, you'll notice that this entire back side of the plant is not damaged. And this is the side that's actually now bringing the sugars and the juices um, and all the life-giving um, support is coming from the backside, the shaded part of the plant. And what we're gonna do here today is actually um, coat and protect this part of the plant and actually we'll, for cosmetic, we'll actually even paint the backside as well so it all looks uniform. But we're gonna cover this with a product called Ivory Organics. This here is Ivory Organics. It's a three-in-one tree guard paint. It says just add water. It's a natural tree trunk barrier. Um, protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents. And it's for use on roses, fruit and nut trees, ornamental trees and shrubs. So here we are now again in front of the Washington Naval. I've got here some sliced fruit off of the tree. Delicious and super sweet. Here we are now again, first week of July. There's a couple of fruit that are really high up in the canopy. But let me share with you some of the fruit that it's developing for what will then ripen between on average November through about June here in this growing season. Um, Dave got to enjoy, he said, upwards of a thousand fruit last year. And as the plant continues to mature and grow, this is about a 10 year old Washington navel tree. And you can see that it's growing about 15 feet high. Um, is now supporting a ton of fruit, literally. Let's check out some of the younger fruit within the plant. As you can see again, ton of flowers the honeybees are busy at work and underlying some medium-sized fruit a couple more fruit over here as we go lower a couple more another one more flowers more fruit this tree is nothing less than phenomenal it's a beautiful tree and let's um, discuss what we're gonna do to now start caring for that wounded branch so we've opted, you just saw the video on the third degree sunburns that suffered on that citrus tree, the specifically that orange tree in the North Hollywood area. And in light of the fact that we are now going into the summer months and that pruning this limb is gonna to expose too much sun and, 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 and warm temperatures to what would otherwise be a shaded underlying tree trunk and branches, what we're gonna do is now protect it organically using the Ivory Organics three-in-one plant guard. This is gonna offer protection against damaging sunburn insects and rodents. With the main defense we're looking for is protection from sunburn as well as insects from, you know, from expo you know, injuring that now exposed wood. For use on your roses, fruit and nut trees, ornamental trees and shrubs. And what we're looking at specifically with the active ingredients is we've got castor cinnamon, clove, garlic, peppermint, rosemary, and spearmint oils that will offer that defense and a registered material for use in organic agriculture. Here's color white. Color brown is still pending, but we've already prepared this solution by adding water to it. And we're gonna be using the color brown to now patch that wounded branch to hopefully give it a better chance at recovering and supporting more fruit. So what I'm gonna do here, I don't know if you wanna put a hand on that. And what I'll do is just go with my branch, my brush, and I'm gonna start coating all of that exposed wood so that beetles and termites and other disease don't end up harming the underlying supporting wood structure and while the plant continues to heal over in the months and eventually it's gonna be years to come. So we basically coated all of that exposed wood. I'm gonna to have to come in from the other side and repeat exactly the same thing we just did together on this side. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna basically look for a bandage to basically tighten and secure it. We're gonna examine the bandage every three to six months to make sure we're also not constricting on the branch, but to always make sure that it's braced just as a cast otherwise would. The other tip that was given to Dave is to make sure that this year with all of these fruit and being just as vigorous and healthy as this tree behind me is, that it doesn't support another 200 fruit this year, maybe cut back to as little as 50 fruit so it doesn't add further stress and strain to that branch, but it can still enjoy some fruit from year to year as that branch hopefully heals over and recovers. If it doesn't and it doesn't perform well and I don't like the way in the direction it's going, 
between now and let's say the next six months to another year, we may eventually have to decide to prune it. But if we do the prune, we're gonna do it towards late winter so that we can capitalize on much growth in the spring. And we're also gonna whitewash and immediately protect the underlying tree trunk and branches to make sure there's no risk of any sunburn, not first, second, nor obviously third degree burns to the underlying heart of the tree. If you found this video informative and educational, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Most importantly, by subscribing below, you'll be connected to this and all of our other educational gardening videos by Ivory Organics. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening.